viewer welcome back to 54a I'm going to have a go at a goblet today um, I tried doing one the other day and it was rubbish I've watched a lot of videos especially Mike Waltz and um, when it came to it I think I left my brain in the house and everything I thought I'd learned on the videos went out the window. So I found my brain, I'm going to give it another go. Uh, there's a lump of cherry already in the lathe and uh, we'll get on with it in a minute, I hope. Uh, shout out today, um, Ian Maud, M-A-U-D-E. He's uh, pretty new to wood turning, just like I am. He's learning very quickly. He's a smashing bloke. He makes banjos, but he wants to get into wood turning. So uh, I'll put his name down on the bottom of the screen. If I can find his link, I'll put it up at the end of the video. And uh, go and have a look at his website and cheer him on a bit and uh, subscribe to his channel. Uh, I think you'll like what you see anyway, so it's Ian Maud. Right then, I'll get the camera set up over on the lathe and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here we are, all chucked up between centres. I've just started knocking the corners off, so I'll carry on getting it to round and uh, we'll carry on from there. Okay, got it mounted in the chuck now. Um, it's an inch or so shorter than it was because I found quite a crack at the end there, so I'd, uh, I just parted it off. Now the next thing I'm going to do is drill a hole. I only want to go two inches, so I've put a bit of tape around the drill bit, and I'm going to drill a hole, and here we go. Well that's the hole drilled and now I'm just going to put a little mark roughly where I want the thickness of the bowl to be. Um, I'll leave it a little bit thick for shaping. So when I start hollowing it out, I only want to go to that to that uh, groove that I've made. Um, I'm going to use the new tool, the carbon carbide tipped one. So uh, nice and gentle. I'm not going to rush it like I did the first one. That was a big mistake. Um, nice and gentle, and I'll start hollowing it out. The good thing about this <coughs> tool is you don't have to keep changing the angle on it as you would with a round tipped scraper because you've got much more of a cutting edge which goes right around the sides as well. So you keep the thing at the same angle and you can do in there and the sides 
on the same sweep without without having to do this all the time. Right, just about finished the inside now, got nice and deep, the first one I did I went in about an inch and, and gave up, but this is a lot better, uh, I'm just going to uh, try and zoom in a little bit, no it's not bad, alright I'm going to go through the grits now up to 400, sand in sealant and then wax the inside, I'm going to do all that while there's still a lot of bulk on the main stem of the but, uh, goblet because um, once you've taken that down and you start trying to sand and polish the inside of this you've got no support whatsoever so I'm going to finish the inside of the bowl off first and uh, carry on from there so it's through the grits sanding sealant and wax there you go that's had uh, two coats of sanding sealant knocked it back with a, the old scotch pad and two coats of wood wax 22 other waxes are available so now I'm uh, going to try and put a bit of shape on the outside so uh, wish me luck here we go
just putting the uh, first coat of sanding sealant on now. Well, to give it a bit of support, I just stuffed the old paper towel in there and, and uh, ran the tail stock in. Um, didn't want it wobbling around all over the place. And it seems to do the job. There we go. I'll get back to you when I've uh, polished it up and parted it off and show you what it looks like. There it is, my first, well, successful goblet. Lovely finish on it, it's a nice piece of cherry that is. I don't know if the stem's thin enough or if I left the bowl a little bit thick, but uh, for a first attempt, I must admit, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, sorry Mike, it's not uh, over 18 and 3 eighths inches long. <laughs> Maybe in the future I'll have a go. Anyway, there you go. Well, there is my first goblet. Uh, lovely finish on it. Really pleased with the grain on this, on this wood. Um, and I've hollowed out nice and deep, which I didn't do on the first one, which was a total disaster. The new carbide cutting tool works a treat for hollowing out. It's so smooth. Anyway, viewer, that'll do for today. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a comment. Leave a comment about the goblet, good or bad. I want, I want advice all the time. Always trying to learn something. Um, don't forget to subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, great, pass it on. Maybe I'll get another subscriber. If you're not even on uh, YouTube, it's ever so easy to join. It doesn't cost anything. Then you can leave comments and what have you on whatever videos you tend to look at. So that's about it for now. Uh, the next project is going to be hopefully another segmented object. Um, I am gluing it together at the moment because I shan't bother putting you through all the boring bits of cutting the segments and gluing them together. Um, I should be another few days doing that and then I'll uh, get the old camera out again and uh, see where it takes us. So thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.